Let's Queer Up Religion. Worldwide Conference of the United Methodists is about to embrace LGBTQ+. We were back with the news from the Quadrennial General Conference of the United Methodists amidst a backdrop of long-standing controversy. Significant strides have been made toward the inclusivity within the denomination. During a morning session yesterday, a set of regulations was dissolved as a part of the packet comprising 106 agenda items, all without any debate on the floor at the Charlotte, North Carolina World Conference. These motions may, cul may, may culminate in the official removal of the sum of the, all the LGBTQ plus restrictions by the United Methodist Church, the nation's second largest Protestant group. The conference draws to a close on Friday. These limitations have been central to significant schism within the United Methodist Church that has resulted in the departure of approximately 7,600 traditionalist churches throughout the United States between 2019 and 2023. Yesterday, other significant changes occurred, including the removal of a ban preventing bishops from ordaining LGBTQ plus candidates for ministry and the elimination of mandatory minimum penalties for clergy conducting same-sex weddings. These measures were initially put forth in 2019 by the General Conference under the traditional plan, which reinforced strict policies on homosexuality. Another longstanding ban concerning funding for LGBT, LGBTQ plus affinity groups or ministries was also abolished during proceedings. The conference might consider many such discrimination bans before its conclusion. They might conclude a, lo a, a ban on ordinary gay clergy and eliminating the passage from the Book of Discipline that, con that considers homosexuality incompatible with Christian teaching. Well, coming before I moved here, I actually belonged to a Methodist church, and it was very interesting that there was a quite a very large LGBTQ plus community within the church, and I think that was a great thing. You know, um, I've seen these. I you know I see the people that are really hurting that couldn't get married, and um, this is a fight I think every religious structure has had to fight. Um, I feel that this is now a way of putting that out there that people can start healing uh, mm -hmm. and bring healing to themselves in the community, and I think that's what all churches are want to do. All churches want to do. Um, religion is religion, and churches are the church is the way I see it, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, I believe in religion, and I'm a re religious person, but I don't necessarily believe in the church. Yeah, and you're not alone, mm. right? Right, and there are right. so many LGBTQ plus people that love religion, want to be a part right. of religion, and don't even know how to navigate or right. what that looks like. We are right now presently coming to you from a church campus right. of Sunshine yeah. Cathedral, right, where mm -hmm. many queer and non-queer people come, and they come to service on Sunday, and they wholeheartedly love the Lord. Right, and they're all sitting together next to LGBTQ plus people, and the place doesn't go on fire. Right. <laughs> exactly. You know, we like, don't burst so, into flames. You know, so this Methodist church again making these moves, making these, you know, lifting these restrictions is a step in the right direction, mm -hmm. folks, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, you you definitely are getting a good message from, you know, the, the the people that speak of religion. You know, it's so great to be in South Florida and have all of these options, you know, depending on what type of faith you might believe in. I was happy to even see my even my hometown of Livingston, New Jersey, having one of their churches having the, the LGBTQ plus flag out saying, you know, we welcome you. So, you know, that 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 is inspiring. And it, it definitely you definitely see change throughout the country with that. Bonnie, what do you think? Baby? If you into religion, I guess this is cute. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's see if they make up for the years and decades and millennia of transgressions they made against us with um, these little uh, crumbs that they're giving us. My stance is usually, um, I'm not all that religious. I grew up very religious. I grew up Baptist, like Southern Baptist. And then after years of seeing how we were treated, how I was uh, treated in certain ways, um, it's not necessarily for me. I believe in a higher power. I don't know what that is. I'm still on my own spiritual journey, but um, religion as a, as a construct isn't for me. So I appreciate this church making the queer people in their community feel more comfortable but uh, you got to do a little bit more because you've mm -hmm. done you, you, you've done shit to us. Well, I mean, <laughs> again, these, these are the Methodists. I mean, we right. can start like throwing hate against the Catholics and all that mm -hmm. as well. You know, what would have to happen for Bonnie Builder to be able to go? I'm going to go back to church. A booking. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly, I, her. honestly I, will, I will send you my Your rage. Bingo. Right. I will send you my rage. No, 
If they send me a Zelle, book I'll a girl, <laughs> bodybuilder on Instagram. You can come find me. Oh my! I should have known. Well, right. wow. Right.